So we're venting through the entire process. So you just take this, screw this down firm, doesn't have to be rock tight. And then, somebody get me that alcohol container up there, please. The other change we're going to make is this. This is your paraffin waste container, okay? I'll back this up best I can. Paraffin waste container, that's where the paraffin is going to go. So, we don't want alcohol to go in there, we want just paraffin to go in there so it solidifies. So we have another container that looks just like it called the alcohol waste container. This will be a primarily just a liquid waste from the alcohol. Pretty much it's going to be water, inks and dyes and a trace amount of alcohol. You do not have an alcohol that low at this point in, in histology or cytology, anything. This is way below 20% when it comes out. So we'll take this container. We have this small little line here. We even have a venting line. We vent our waste. So I'll pull this out of the hole. I'll unscrew our little black cap here. It just has a hole around it. It goes around the big vent drain. And there it is. Okay, same container. We'll just switch caps, take the alcohol waste container, under, a couple of turns later, this will go down, ready to go. Bring this over. Now we already have a filled alcohol container, so we'll set this up here, let it rest on there, and have our straps in place here okay so there's your container now this is over the gallon mark so it's plenty to run we don't go above the zero <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and this pink alcohol will be clean and clear when it comes back you have cytology alcohols that are green histology alcohols that are pink these very pink green alcohols will now be clean and clear when you get them back um, our alcohols are so clear, we're Cytec Imaging certified for alcohols now, so we have a very high rating for sterility of alcohols. Okay, operation is going to be about the same, except you see they have a blue spigot here. This is a standard spigot for a water-based product like alcohol. Okay, everything is labeled properly. It also has its own fine mist strainer, so everything has its own place. Now, you see that the xylene containers here, you're like, well, what about this? It can stay there. Only thing that's going to go in there is xylene. If you take it off, that's fine too, because only xylene will go in there. So what's going to happen is this is going to feed here into the tank, and you're going to get your clean alcohol here. So very simply, what are we going to do? We're going to change our program. It says xylene mode in the cycle. The machine's done. So you want to start again. So very simply, you'll just want to push reset. And it goes back to xylene. But you don't want to do xylene. You want to change the solvent. So it says no to change solvent. So it's just press no. A little select product. I want to select the product. That's where the little arrows are pointing. I want that. Press enter. Select product. It shows xylene. I don't want xylene. So let's press no. Exactly. Alcohol. I want alcohol. Enter to select. Enter. Reset your system. There you go. Now we're ready to do some alcohol. From xylene to alcohol, it's going to make you flush. And what are you flushing with? A liter of the dirty alcohol you have in here anyways. These are gallon marks. These are liter marks. So basically, this would be a liter. So all you would do is this, very simply. And it's only on your first run. And then when you do your alcohols, you do them all together. So it makes it very simple. So alcohol mode in recycle. Flush is required. So the machine knows it needs to flush, which is nice when you have multiple users. Somebody forgets to tell the other person, that type of thing. So press enter. Performing manual drain, enter when jug's in place. The jug they're talking about is the waste jug. And why are we doing this? To make sure there's no residual xylene from the previous run. So all you do is simply stand in front of this machine, just press enter. That's the waste drain opening. And you just stand here and wait. And it actually it says, please wait. As soon as the actuator switches and says enter when done, simply just press enter. Enter when done, enter. And it closes. Just those few moments are enough. If you get a drop or two, you'll be lucky. Then, it says put the fill jug in place in the new container in place with a new solvent, which is going to be your alcohol. There it is, ready to go. <laughs> it says alcohol mode. Loosen the fill jug lid. 
open the spigot, which I'm not going to do at this particular second, and press enter. I did just what it said, enter. It says alcohol mode. Press enter and fill with one liter of solution. This is the liter I told you about. If it was lower, it'd be a liter. All you have to do is stand here about 10 more seconds. Press enter. If we were doing this, you'd allow one liter to go in. Stand here for a moment, about 10 seconds. Let the liter go in. As soon as you see the liter go in, it says, press enter to stop the filling for flush. I'm going to press enter. And now I'm done. You can now walk away from this unit. You leave this open, which it would be. You leave this loose, and you're ready to go. And this is what happens. That liter's gone in to clear out the line in the tank. It runs for about 12 minutes or so by itself, which really doesn't matter to you. Then, it opens the waste drain. It dumps that liter to waste. So that liter will be wasted on the first run of alcohol. Then, it closes, and this is the cool part. Restarts itself. And now it will recycle the rest of this alcohol, less that liter, without you even being here. So very nice. So now the rest of the alcohol will go in. It will start as the last time did. Operation, hour and a half per gallon for alcohol. A little bit longer, so two and a half hours for a full run of xylene on this machine. Three hours for alcohol. Okay? draws the alcohol first thing, so the clean, clear alcohol will come out here into this container. And how do you know what that container holds? We give you a new hydrometer. For those of you not know how to use a hydrometer, or those of you don't, I'll explain it really quickly. This is a standard hydrometer, specific gravity. What you would do is have a graduated cylinder, about 500 mil graduated glass cylinder, and you put in about three quarters of the alcohol you got back from this system into that graduated cylinder. You have graduations. You have 100 proof and on down, and on one side there's 200 proof. For labs that use 200 proof alcohol. And simply you would just set this inside the graduated cylinder, let it float at the meniscus line. Do you all know what the meniscus line is? You would just look at that and read exactly what your concentration of alcohol is. It works very well, and you can't lie to you. If it says it's 95% alcohol, it is 95% clean, clear, sterile alcohol. Alcohol collection is really a little different. You can do all the alcohols except those contaminated with xylene because xylene is a petroleum-based product. You can always take water out of oil. You can't completely take oil out of water, just to make it simple. So on the tissue processor, you can do all the alcohols except those, the one in usually your cleaning cycle, purging cycle, if you have one of the automatic processors. On a histologic staining line, typical histo staining line, you put xylene to paraffinize your slides, and then you've got several cups of alcohol right after that that you can't recycle. But you go down your staining line and you might have an alcohol before ESN. That one's fine to recycle and the ones right after ESN are fine on a staining line. And you can do all the alcohols on a processor except the cleaning alcohol. Even the ones after formula, they're fine. So you have that. Just like before, it'll open the waste drain, dump whatever can't recycle the waste, water inks and dyes, and trace amount of alcohol. Closes in the cycle. It's done. If you were to reset this machine and run more alcohol, which I recommend you run your alcohols together, if you reset this and went through the whole gamut again, it just starts because you've already flushed. When you go back to xylene, there's no flush. And then the last thing to show you is this what happens if the power goes out? Power goes out in the system, what are you going to do? Power went out in the system. Power comes back on. Press enter to finish the current cycle is what you'll see. You might know that because your other machines might be having issues also. So what you do is you'll press enter. Enter to finish the run or know to drain the unit. If you believe there's about a gallon left in this machine and it's been cold, just press enter. And it will restart itself. So it saves you from having to you know, redo all that again. If you believe it's almost done, then just drain the system and just it'll start it up again. Okay? And that's really it. So it'll finish off the cycle. And this does it in zombie mode too. I'm just showing you in the alcohol mode. I can't rush the actuator. It gets mad at me.
in the cycle. That's all I have. This is it. That's the machine.